there's an enemy by Am I muted? Nope, I'm not muted. Oh no, the commercial break was too long. Damn it, I'm so sorry. Did I not run a commercial? Maybe I didn't. Oh, I did. Okay, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for uh, bearing with this commercials. I ran them a little bit too late, I think, because the, com uh, the, com er, the loading screen was just too uh, short, unfortunately. Um, I have to run shorter commercials. But uh, thank you so much for bearing with those. So again, I start Dornblade um, because I, if you correctly clear uh, camps, which I'll show you again, because I don't think a lot of people saw it because of the commercial break. So I'll just run shorter commercials or something uh, today. Um, but if you run it, or do your buffs correctly, you will take no damage, as like as you know, example. And your Dornblade actually synergizes really well with your attack speed you gain from your W. Um, damn, she's playing very very safe. Who am I against? I'm against a Lee Sin. So at level three, we'll have a chance to kill him, but not the greatest. Minion wave is coming in, so I can gank right after this minion wave leaves. Damn, she's playing so safe. I'm gonna auto attack first. Not bad. So I got a flash for nothing. That is not bad. Uh, thank you so much for subbing, by the way. Uh, very goal and phase. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Welcome. Alright, let's see if we can dive uh, this Jinx here. She looks pretty low. I'm gonna keep in track of her summoners, barrier, and ignite. Okay. So they don't have exhaust. I'm actually not gonna dive them. I'm actually gonna wait till they push out. Instead, I'm gonna actually just do their golems here and just be really patient and see if they'll push out. Okay, looks like Lee Sin's down here too. That's gonna be interesting. I might do just uh, wait from here. Notice I knew he was gonna throw his Q out there, so I just dodged it before he was able to do anything with it. Aw, oh, that was unfortunate. Maybe we could kill her? I think she has no flash, so it'd be a really good kill. Nice. One so far. Auto attack of doom. One more, one more. Alright. I think that's enough. We're gonna do it back out now. I think I held my bot lane quite a bit there by doing that. Um was able to just uh, mechanically outplay the least in there by just dodging his Qs. It's very easy to juke side to side when they are throwing a Qs, but make sure if you're getting ganked by least and you don't spend too much time juking and let them just run up to you because that could be very um, bad. They'll just EU you and then just kill you. Um, but that was really good. I avoided some of his damage and was able to out DPS him. And I knew he didn't have flash because he used it earlier, so it's really good. So, so far, two kills. Not a bad start. Hello, Gambino. What's up? I used my flash just to make sure that Leona died there. Um, I'm gonna position myself in a way that I can. Um, uh, uh, very gullible. I get it. Okay. All right, Chibi. Very gullible. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, good moderator uh, Titans. Thank you. I'm glad you don't try to troll me. Thank you, Titans. I appreciate it. I appreciate when my mods don't troll me. <laughs> it's all good. I love my mods, dude. Alright, so far so good. Also, Unwanted subbed a while back. Oh, thank you so much, Unwanted. Yeah, I, I remember Unwanted subbed a long time ago. I didn't welcome you. Oh, sorry, Unwanted. Welcome, man. I know you subbed a long time ago, though. Unwanted is a really good guy. I like getting, like, really personal with my subs. Like, that's why I talk to him on a raid call and stuff. Um, But yeah, really cool, guys. Alright, let's see if we can help out Urgot here. Looks like Jax is pretty low. He hasn't backed yet, so most likely his War Trinket is down, but that's just an assumption. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna put a ward here just to see if someone starts coming up. Now it's like auto attack first. Oh, nice. Really good by Urgot there. I'm gonna stand in front of him so he can't uh, keep Urgot. Alright, nice. We just got really good damage in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this out for Urgot so he can actually, um, you know, have what's his name lose a lot of CS, Jax, because Jax is still dead. So this is not bad. I'm actually gonna smite stuff for him, just like, I, this might look like taxing, but I'm actually not taxing. 
I actually am helping him in a way because now this um all this farm is gonna go to waste. He's not gonna be able to get that farm in time. So that's a lot of XP down the drain. I'm actually gonna go back. There's no reason really reason to uh can't get any more here. I could maybe get Lux, but nah, I'm not gonna try. Alright, gonna work for my Kindle gem here. Couple health pots, because I already have a ward. Uh, TTX Ways, thank you so much for subbing, welcome. By the way, for the people who are wondering, um, this is day 5 of the series. Uh, I'm really hoping to hit Diamond 3-ish by tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we had to end the stream early, um, yesterday, or two days ago. Because, um, this server, um, NA server was, uh, going down, there was no ranked, so I had to go offline, unfortunately. But, um, hopefully we can make up for it today, because I'm, uh, I have an energy drink right now, so I should be able to stay up for quite a bit. Hoping I can stay up for, like, at least... 14 hours, maybe 15 if anything. Um, so it should be a long stream day. I want to get as much done as I can today. So 13, 17 are blue, 5 minutes after. I'm going to grab my red real quick. Oh, hopefully they can get away there. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, notice I do use my um, cocoon sometimes when I do have blue buff. It's very easy to do that. Now, notice Jax doesn't have flash, and he'd be a very easy kill. But I have to be careful with this. Now, if I go top, they could potentially do dragon. And that will put us further behind globally. But it looks like my bot lane's winning in pressure. So it'd be very unlikely that Lee Sin will start a dragon. Actually, now they're backing. So, oh, well, I'm taking the risk. Taking the risk. Hopefully, they don't do it. Oh, they can save this guy. Nice. And to push this out with him. Looks like they might get Dragon here. I'm watching Jinx to see how she moves. The reason I think they're doing Dragon is because Lux is missing. Again, waves are, waves are identical. So I'm looking at the wave here. It's not going to hit the tower for a while. Um, so this will all die. I don't have to waste my time thinking, oh, is it, you know, oh. Oh, man. The Jinx ult, damn. The Jinx ult emote, guys. The Jinx ult emote. <laughs> that thing is terror. I'm telling you. It's easy to dodge, though. The Unseen, thank you so much for subbing, welcome. I'm gonna check if there's, uh, anyone in the jungle. Alright, so far, we're so good so far. Um, no one's in the jungle. I'm actually gonna just put a bunch of aggressive wards in the jungle. Looks like their bot lane is actually, uh, moving closer towards me. I'm not sure exactly why. She just got her blue buff, which means Leeson might be near his wolves. Actually, it's not very fresh. She might have gotten her blue buff a while ago, actually. Yeah, that's why I'm like, eh, maybe that's not true, because, you know, it still has some use on it. I don't mind if he kicks me here. Not at all. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm actually going to dive him here. Notice I'm waiting to repel when my Q's up. Nice, very easy dive. Notice I always let my little spiders go in before I do. It's very, very um good to do that. Their blue's not up because we saw Lux already have it, so there's no point in going there. I'm gonna see if I can gank top one more time on my way out. I notice I stayed, I didn't repel instantly. I waited to repel till my Q was up so he wouldn't be able to kick me away instantly. My Q would always hit no matter what. I'm gonna auto attack this guy first to see if he'll flash. Okay, actually, let's see. Also, it does apply the slow, which is really nice. Should be a dead here. Nice. Easy kill. I auto attack to make sure I apply the slow and see if he was going to flash from my auto attack. Because sometimes players will flash just by seeing a hand movement. Alright, cool. I'm going to go back now and get my Ancient Golem. This is where I start farming on Elise. I don't really farm until I get my Ancient Golem, because then you get bonus gold for your stacks. Alright, grab that, grab that, grab that. Alright, reset. So my blue, I did time on uh, 13, 17 are blue. So it won't be up for a while, a minute and a half. Uh, Senior Gib, thank you, er, Senior Gur, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. You can repel over this wall to save you some time of running over that wall. I'm gonna smite first, just so I can do a little bit extra damage. My blue won't be up for a while anyway, so it doesn't matter.
I am taking all the kills, but it doesn't matter if I do, if I know what to do with them. That's the whole point. If I can do, um, play this game correctly, and use my kills efficiently, like, you know, I'm really strong right now, so let's start a dragon, um, to, you know, gain some global gold for my team. I'll actually put a ward over it to make sure that someone doesn't, uh, steal it. Alright, see you, Chibi. I'll probably, I'll still be on when you're awake, so... And it's time that six minutes after. So I'm getting global objectives for my team while I'm ahead with all these kills. So you can take all the kills if you know what you're doing with them. But yeah, good night, Chibi. I'm gonna be doing like a 14 hour stream, so I'll probably still be on. So my blue should be up in about 20 seconds, because it was 13 17. So I'm not gonna actually run over to my blue right now. Actually, I could. I could do my wolves and then my blue. We'll just do that. I'm gonna start with my um, human form here just to do a little bit extra damage. Oh, someone said I'm their inspiration. Oh, thanks, man. I'm glad to hear that. I really hope I help you guys out. I really do pride myself on trying to be very um, informative, but not boring. You know, I don't want to be boring and just like monotone like a teacher would be. Um, but I do try my best. So 18.35, our blue, gonna time that five minutes after. Alright, cool. Got that. Conservation's pretty low, this would be a really good time to gank. My red should be up soon, though. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping for a kill there. I got it, but... Or not for the kill, I, I was hoping the cocoon to hit there. Uh, make sure you're looking on the map when you're uh, moving around. Yeah, she flashed a little bit late there. Nice. The reason I flashed over the Lee Sin there is because I didn't want him to kick me away. If anything, if he kicked me, he would actually kick me uh, closer to Jinx there. So he was placed in a really awkward position. To take towers, make sure you're using your W because it gives you the attack speed. Um, your little spider links can hit the, uh, the tower as well, and they can actually tur uh, tank some turret shots, which is nice. I'm actually going to go see if the blue's up right now, and then check my red as well. Nice, so blue's up, I'm gonna take it. I don't really like counter jungling, unless it's versus a specific champion, kind of champion like Fiddlesticks, I might counter jungle. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to in this game. Now if he does press his E, I'll E right as, um, damn, that sucks. We need to get Leona though, nice. I got a few kills there. It was 3 for 3, it wasn't too bad. But I still, if I didn't die there, it would have been good. Um, so what I was talking about was I sometimes I'll counter jungle someone if it's like Fiddlesticks who really needs a blue buff to do anything. Um, or like an Anivia mid. If they have an Anivia mid, I might counter it and just not let that blue buff come up for a while. Um, but generally it is better to just cl clear it all and take the timer and get the next one. Alright, I'm gonna grab my red here. Now he's actually about to clear his blue right now, so I'm actually gonna take a timer on that. 21 17, their blue. Five minutes after. Because there was only one lizard left, that's it. Now he's done. So again, I smited before my Q there, just to make sure um, my Q did maximum damage, because it does more damage the lower the HP is of the buff. Alright, let's see if we're gonna gank top real quick. <laughs> oh wow, fat feeder, goddamn guys. Come on, let's not turn into Casey Sean's chat. Honestly, like my chat a lot. Most, for the most part, my chat is really clean. Um, I mean, you're always gonna have those trolls sometimes, but for the most part, like people are really respectable here. 
That's why I leave a uh, sub mode off because, um, you know, for the most part, everything's respectable. Sometimes I'll put it on though. All right, the reason I farmed that, by the way, like just went for that instantly instead of like pushing this tower is my conservation was getting pretty high. And again, you want to, um, you want to make sure you're, uh, what's it called? Um, what was I gonna say? Make sure, sure you use your conservation when it is high. I could go back and buy a Kindle gem for my Spirit Passage. By the way, Spirit Passage, very important item on Elise. I think you should buy Spirit Passage even if they don't have a single AP champion because your Spirit Passage amplifies your W um, in spider form. And it's very, very important to do that. Um, it, it, which, if you don't know what your, the W does, it actually um, gives you healing. Hold on. Oh, no. The Wombo. I'm pretty low, actually. But yeah, amplifies your uh, healing on your W. So even if they have all AD, I still would buy it. Oh no! If I could jump down on her, I would. I'm just gonna grab a dragon real quick. I don't know if this is warded. I really hope not. Oh. Poor Urgot. Never mind. Conservation is the stacks you get here. Um, when you get a jungle item like Golem or something, or Lizard, or Wraith, or Wriggles. Um, actually, Wriggles doesn't have conservation. It just gives you bonus gold on the camps. But if you get one of those spe uh, spectral items or whatever, it um, gives you conservation over time. Your conservation can't go over 80, and what it does is it gives you bonus gold um, on each camp you do. So once it gets close to 80, you want to use it up. Because when it hits 80, you're, you know, if you think about it, you're wasting potential gold because... It gains gold over game. You're pretty much stopping your GP ton. That's what you're doing. You're pausing your GP ton. So it's really, really bad to do. Uh oh. Lisa. Yeah, we gotta be careful here. We don't wanna lose this game. Game's far from over. So I'm gonna time Dragon um, six minutes after here. 2503D. And for the people like, who don't know how to, like, make your chat very big, you just hold down Z, because I know a lot of people are asking. I'm gonna go back now. Alright, I almost have my super social here. Maybe we can try to do a Baron or something to try to close out this game, or maybe bait a fight somehow. Um... But yeah, we definitely don't want to like take this game uh, as a joke because it, it could easily come back easily. They have a Jax, they have a Lux, pretty fed Jinx. They're not fed, but farmed, and has some kills. I'm gonna smite before my Q here, do max damage. Again, notice I always walk in Spider form because your Spider form has more movement speed than your Human. We can easily do this while they're getting chased bot, because now our bot lane is applying pressure, and they won't be even concentrating on Baron. Even if this is warded, I don't really care, because they already have so many people bottom, that they won't even be able to stop us. They have Lee Sun dead, which is their jungler, and then they have so many people bottom. So my Q only does 270 damage while I'm tanking, because I have a debuff that reduces my damage. My smite does 700. So I'm gonna... There we go. I'm just gonna smite instead of relying on Q smite there, because I was tanking. I didn't want to rely on my 200 damage there. Oh no. I probably shouldn't have repelled on him, but uh, I just did it anyways. So 2814 Baron, that's 7 minutes after. I'm gonna flash Cocoon this guy. Oh, uh, he flashed away. Oh, imagine if I blocked that Q for him. That would have been so sick if I blocked that Q for him. Revenge. Nice. I'll tank. Come on. And a time they're blue as well. 28.03. They're blue. Five minutes after. 
and then time baron seven minutes after. So buffs are five minutes after they die, they spawn. Uh, dragon six minutes and baron seven minutes. Um, Forsaken Saint, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. So my conservation is at 41 right now. I definitely got to use it up. I'm gonna farm a camp. I'm on my way out of here. I'm actually gonna go back right now though. It'd be too much of a waste of time to walk to my wolves here. Alright, let's see if we can grab my red buff here. Do you start Dorn Blade on these? Yes, you do, because your Dorn Blade um, synergizes really well with your W attack speed at level 1. Gives you 60% 60% attack speed. And obviously, attack damage and attack speed, you know, synergize very, very well. You're doing a lot more damage than expected. And that's why AD carries, obviously, build AD and attack speed. I'm going to take the red. I mean, it's pretty good on least because what ends up happening is... If you hit someone with your red, it's easy to hit the cocoon. On top of that, when you hit someone in red in spider form, it allows your little spider links to catch up them, catch up to them much more faster, um, and they're able to do a little bit more damage output too. He won't be able to one v one, man. I have way too many items. His best bet would have been running, and maybe miss me missing a cocoon or something. I'm gonna put a ward here. So here's a trick you can do if you didn't already know. Um, if there's a white here, and you want to farm it... So you can easily do that, and it's gone. Doesn't matter which way you throw your W, if you Q it, it'll um, go over the wall. It's not a very important trick, but you know. Something to know. So you don't have to walk all the way over. Yeah, I'm using my W here so the little spiderlings are hitting the turret as well. So far, so good. Alright, let's grab the wolves here. God, don't get kicked, bro. Alright, you can get kicked that way if you want. That's fine. Might as well just go in. Why not? I'm tanky. Oh, damn. I thought she tried to juke it for some reason. Alright, I'll just tank. Or a threshold tank if he wants. We can end this game. I need to get diamond three by tonight. Let's go. Let's go. No messing around. We gotta end these games fast. Alright. Nice. So there we go. I did take most of the kills, but I knew what I was doing with them, and I was able to snowball after that. Uh-uh. Notice I didn't wait for them to like- Oh, that was so bad of me. Too busy talking. Alright, we're just gonna go back here. I'm gonna grab this tower, because they can't really defend this tower since they're so busy with their Nexus tower. So it's, a, it's just a free tower, might as well get it. Minions might get it by themselves, but just in case. We should check their red buff and then get Dragon on our way out too. No matter what the score is, don't take it as a joke, because you could always lose these games. Alright, 3127, they're red, you want to time that 5 minutes after, whenever you take their buffs. So you're able to get the next one, and plan for it. Alright, they surrendered. Alright, GG. I started Jordan's Blade, yes. Victory. Oh, New Year's is in five minutes for me. Happy New Year's, by the way, guys. Five minutes for me. So, again, um, decent amount of farm. 